What you are currently listening to is Mom and Dad Didn't Teach Me That Way by William Usury. The song came out somewhere in between 1967 and 1972. On the other side of the single that this vinyl was pressed on is a love ballad called Crystal. These songs come from a 7-inch vinyl record that I found in a box of vinyl records I was going through for work. Now this single is unique in the fact that it reads DJ copy on it, meaning this was never meant to be sold in stores. This is a promotional disc that would be sent to radio stations to promote the singer or the upcoming album of the singer, or just a test run to see if the singer should make an album and has potential to blow up essentially. This wasn't an uncommon thing for that time period, so what makes this disc in particular so special? Well, unlike most of its counterparts, this record contains an artist with absolutely no online history whatsoever. You Google every variation of William, Bill, Will, Billy, Usury, and you get absolutely nothing relating to the musician on this vinyl record. There's no information out there. Hell, this single isn't even listed on Discogs. Not even under the record label that is printed on the actual disc itself. My curiosity was immediately piqued by this. I began gleaming over every detail that the disc gave me. My first go-to was the record label, Stop Records. You can go to the Discogs page and William isn't there. But this is where I got the time span in which this was released, since on the page it's listed from 1967 to 1971 for the original run of the studio. Now I turn my attention to the Broham or Broham, whatever it is, music hall, which is presumably where the recording took place, but the building's filing status is revoked, which leaves me with another dead end. Now, the only useful information left to me is the producer, Tommy Hill. Now, luckily, there's a wealth of information on Tommy Hill. He apparently started out as a musician before becoming a music exec and producing for multiple record labels he would either own or be a part of. Judging from his Hall of Fame rockabilly page, he is highly regarded by the Nashville community and seemingly the music scene in full. I finally have a lead on someone who would have information on William. Except Tommy Hill sadly passed away in 2002. The last building he owned and operated out of, the Star Day Record Company, is still standing to this very day. As the community protected it from destruction, listing it as one of their top nine uh, historical landmarks or something along those lines. However, that's all the building does these days. It just stands there. The company that Tommy left behind has been dormant since his passing, from what I've gathered. And looking at it on Google Image, it looks like a place that's being lost to time. However, I have to wonder though, if the building was cleared of everything that was inside of it. Because if it wasn't, it's extremely likely that there are records sitting back there just collecting dust. And maybe there's more information laying back there in regards to William Usury and possibly the rest of his music catalog. The unfortunate part of this video is that I've reached a stone wall. So I'm putting this video out in the hope that someone out there may be able to help me in some way. I'm more than willing to make the trip down to Nashville to look into this even further, or just to speak to someone with an inkling of information on this topic would make this venture worthwhile in my mind. If anyone should come across this video who has some kind of connection to maybe Tommy Hill or one of his record companies, or you know William Moosery on a personal level, or have had access to more of his music, or can just give me some information on what became of William Moosery, Feel free to contact me. My DMs are open. You can reach me on most social media websites. And if you want to find those that are linked in my description. And I will happily get back to you to get more information on this. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I will see everyone next time. So thank you so much and uh, goodbye.